how's it going? It's Michael here and welcome back to another brand new episode of The Hybrid Theory. Wally West, Barry Allen, Bart Allen, and Jay Garrick. You know what the common thread between these four is? They're arguably the four faces of speed in the DC universe. For today's episode, we'll try our best to put science and fiction together to try and tackle the cosmic ability that is the speed force. Now let's get on to some theories. First, let's get a real world understanding of what speed is. Speed is the rate of how an object covers distance, essentially measuring a change in position. It is not a force or a constant like gravity is. It is a scalar quantity that has dimensions rooted in distance over time. That is why we say meters per second or miles per hour. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can just disregard real life science because it's not very applicable to the concept of the speed force. The speed force seems to act like some sort of sentient interdimensional constant. It has many forms and can even manifest itself to become a location like a prison for the speedsters, as well as energy for which speedsters can draw upon. Jay Garrick describes it as eternity itself, an endless void of time and energy. In its own way, the speed force has influence over everything since everything in the universe and reality functions through some form of kinesis, which is the activity of something that is produced via some type of stimulation. In this reality, the speed force is a stimulant as everything else is where it funnels its activity with a specific focus on reality ignoring abilities that can affect on a subatomic level. It can physically heal people by speeding up all the biological functions in the body that are non-lethal such as brakes, sprains, and paralysis. It can be used to manipulate airflow and make things like high powerful air tunnels or tornadoes even. The size depends on which speedster is using it, their power set, and how good they are at handling their abilities. It can be allowed to travel or keep distance or move things around of various sizes depending on how fast they spin. All of the physical attributes in an individual gain a significant boost for things like strength, senses, mental processing ability, reflexes, stamina, and of course, speed. Their durability has to be greatly enhanced as well for them to be able to travel at such ridiculous high speeds and not die as soon as they hit their Mach 2. And at the same time, there seems to be a light protective barrier that doesn't incinerate their clothes as they achieve those high speeds as well. One of the fascinating powers here is that high speed vibrations of different parts of their bodies can not only alter the speed of their cells in smaller, but it can be used to phase through the spaces between molecules, allowing them to travel through solid objects, but still maintain some sort of consistent overall connection of form. As seen multiple times in the Flash CW show, it takes a lot of control and focus to be able to do this. The user is able to make themselves intangible at will. Now let's talk about the biggest aspect of the speed force, speed. We know that the speed force allows for speedsters to travel at absurd speeds, but with the speed force itself manipulating reality, it alters a light perception around them that appears as a speed mirage to regular eyes. The individual must be traveling so fast that they can also manipulate the appearance that they are in fact in two places at once. With the speed force being so attached to time and space and distortable, it can also be punched through if the speed is fast enough in order for a speedster to go through time itself, which can seem feasible going forward as you're traveling for so long that centuries for others is like seconds for you. But going back in time is a space time break while still maintaining their physical and memories unless something in the past or the present is altered to change that. Speaking of reality breaking, dimensional travel is possible too by incorporating speed, time and focus as we've seen in the show and comics where you can literally travel to whole other Earths. The final ability that we'll be discussing is the popular speed theft. This is where a speedster is stealing speed from another speedster. Try saying that three times fast. Now with the speed force being energy and somewhat based in the user's conscious decisions, we can imagine that taking speed is reducing it from one person or object and you're able to focus it back into yourself to create more speed within you. Again, that sounds insane to the real world, but that seems like the only feasible way for that to work. The speed force truly is a manipulative universal constant within the reality of the CW universe. There are a ton of creative ways that the speedsters have managed to use it, shape it, and it's just fascinating to watch it in comparison to our own reality. Because for us, Speed is just a name for objects over distance. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video on the speed force. What'd you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed it, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Hyper Network if you haven't already. I'm Michael, signing off for this video. I'll see you next time. Take care. Check out our Facebook and Twitter for our latest updates, our website, hybridnetworkyt.com, for the latest news articles and editorials, and donate to our Patreon page if you'd like to see our content get better.